So let's take a look at reporting. Attackforge includes a tool we call ReportGen. This tool allows you to create custom reports using your own docx templates. If you don't want to create a custom template, you can use the existing reports which come in with Attackforge. These reports can be generated in PDF, docx, HTML, and CSV. You can also download a JSON export for the report. We're going to use this for our custom reports. Okay, let's now create a custom report using ReportGen. We're going to click on the ReportGen button here on the project dashboard. Attackforge ReportGen is easy to use. Creating templates requires no knowledge of complex programming languages. It's free to use and takes only minutes to create a custom report. Attackforge includes a set of standard templates which gives you something to start from. Those templates include an asset-based report, so you can see vulnerabilities by assets, an auditor or third-party report, which comes sanitized to remove sensitive data such as proof of concepts and screenshots, a report which focuses on critical and high vulnerabilities only, an executive report. We have an internal and external findings report. So this report has two sections. Uh, one for external findings, one for internal findings, and it's useful if you're doing an internal or external pen test. We have a comprehensive pen test report. This includes all the sections typically found in a pen test report. There's a retest report. This includes details for every round of retesting. We have a technical report. This is suited for developers, engineers, um, sysadmins, uh, etc. We also have a testing progress report. This is suited for project managers. And we also have a web app and infrastructure report. So this is useful if you want to separate your web app bonds from the infrastructure bonds, all in one single report. For each template, you can download an example report which shows you what the report's going to look like. What we're going to do is to download the report gen tool. To do that, we're going to click on the download report gen button. Report gen is a self-contained HTML file. There's no need to install anything. Now we're going to pick a template we want to start working with. We recommend starting with the pen test report template. To download the template, we're going to click on the button here, template. And lastly, we're going to need some test data in order to test our custom report template. You can use the JSON export from your project that we mentioned earlier. We recommend using the test data file you can download from here. It has all the data you'll need. So now that we've downloaded the tool, a base template, and also the test data, let's start by customizing the template to create our custom report. I already have the template open, as well as the report gen tool. And here's all the JSON test data file. You can see it has a bunch of test data we're going to use to test out our template. So back on our template, let's start by changing the logo and the fonts. Now that we've made the changes, let's save our template and generate a report to see what it looks like. So over in the report gen tool, we're going to click on the button select docx template. Now we're going to select the template we've just modified. Now we're going to give the tool some test data. We're going to select the JSON test data file that we downloaded. And now our report's been generated. Let's open it up and have a look. So we can see that the um, logo has been changed and the colors as well. And we can also see that the um, styles and fonts have changed. Looking at the rest of the report, we can see the exec summary section, testing summary, 
list of all the vulnerabilities, attack chains, and then the vulnerabilities themselves. You can use your own existing DocX report that your company is already using. However, let's start with a blank DocX file and set up our title page. We're going to go to the AttackForge support site to help us with this. You can access this by clicking the link in the report gen tool, or you can click on the help and info section within the application. Once you're on the support site, you'll see there's a bunch of detailed guides and walkthroughs on how to build your templates. We're going to go to the, to the section available tags. Here we can see a list of all the data points or tags that we can use. There's hundreds of tags, meaning you can create as simple or as highly complex templates as you need. We're going to start by adding the project name and project code to the title page of our template. Here we can see that those tags. So we're placing those tags in our template and now we're going to style them based on how we want them to look. Now let's save this template and see what the report looks like. So we're going to come into the report gen tool. Again, we're going to select our template. And now we're going to give it some test data. And let's have let's take a look at what that report looks like. So now we can see the project code and the project name, as well as the test window and progress com complete. Now let's include a list of all the vulnerabilities, as well as their descriptions and recommendations. So back from the support site, we can see a parent level tag called vulnerabilities. This tag contains all of the data for all the vulnerabilities on this pen test. This tag is a list or an array of vulnerabilities. And we know that because it has a hashtag symbol at the start of the tag. So what we're going to do, we're going to loop through all the vulnerabilities in this list and print the title, description, recommendation, as well as priority. So back from our template, we're going to insert a new page. And we're going to start by adding the tag vulnerabilities. Now, because this one is a, uh, a list or an array, that means we're looping. So we have to close this loop. So to do that, we can use the backslash and then vulnerabilities. So now that we're looping through vulnerabilities, we want to add the priority and the title. We'll make that bold and increase the size. Then under that, we want the description and recommendation. So we're going to place those tags in as well. And we'll make that a bit smaller. And then after it goes through each vulnerability and adds the priority title, description, and recommendation, we, we're going to add a page break. So that way, all the vulnerabilities are on separate pages. So let's see what this template looks like. So we're going to come back to the report gentle. Again, we're going to select the template, select the JSON file, and see that our report's downloaded. Let's open it up. So we can see here now the first vulnerability and we have the description and recommendation and now we have the second vulnerability and so forth. Yes, ReportGen does support screenshots as well as captions. Here in AttackForge we can see we've uploaded a screenshot and also assigned it with the caption. How do we access that in ReportGen? We can see here on the support site that within the 
steps to reproduce or proof of concept, we can add a tag with percentage sign inline screenshot. And then when we look at a sample report, we can see we'll automatically include the screenshot as well as the caption under it. Yes, ReportGen does support tables. So here we can see we've created a table which is going to give us the priority, title and remediation status for every vulnerability in this pen test. We've done that by creating a table in, in Word and then opening up a loop for every vulnerability and then within that loop inside this row, including priority, title and remediation status. How that looks is as follows. We can see that we have a full table with every single vulnerability, uh, including its remediation status. Yes, you can add custom logic using ReportJet. So here we have some conditions we've created where we can see priority is equal equal to critical. And what that's gonna do is print the priority in a maroon color. And then we're gonna close off that condition. So here we've opened up another condition where priority is equal equal to high. And again, if that condition's met, then the priority will be printed in red and we're gonna close off that condition as well. So how that actually looks when we generate the report is like this. So here we can see we've got a table where the priority has been color-coded based on what the rules are that we've set up in the template. And the same thing goes for the res resolution or remediation status. Attack Forge Report Gen supports different conditions and filters you can have equals, and, or, greater than and less than conditions in your templates to help you build more complex and advanced templates depending on the data that you need. ReportGen also has filters which can help you to access the exact information that you need. For example, we have filter by, includes, as well as excludes. You can store data for later for later use, we have a find, unique, count, as well as others. You can create custom tags or fields in ReportGen. ATTACKFORGE allows you to set these custom fields or tags at three different levels. At the project level, at the vulnerability library level, or your writer, or at the affected asset level, and that's the actual vulnerability on the project itself. The support side details how to set custom tags at each different level. So for example, here at a project level, we can capture the additional information such as client name, address, testing location, and others. And how we reference that in our report, we can see as follows. And when the report gets output, based on the template above, we can see that we have the customer's name and address 